what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel let's solve this math question that says find the value of x plus y for which x plus xy plus y is equal to 54. well notice that the left hand side the first two terms x is common so we can factor out x so factor out x open brackets x divided by x is 1 plus xy divided by x is y and then close bracket plus y equal to 54. Now I would like to factorize again but only when I have the same thing I have inside of this bracket here. The difference between what I have here which is y from what I have inside of this bracket is 1. So when I add 1 here, it makes it to be 1 plus y, just as 1 plus y inside of the bracket. And in order to achieve that, I'm going to be adding 1 to both sides of the equation. So here we have x times 1 plus y plus, now I'll add 1 to y, so this is 1 plus y. And to balance it up, I'll add 1 to 54. 1 plus 54. That is it. Now notice that what I have here and what I have here are the same. So 1 plus y is common. So I'm going to be factoring out y, 1 plus y. Now open brackets. x times 1 plus y divided by 1 plus y is x plus 1 plus y divided by 1 plus y is 1 and this is equal to 1 plus 54 is 55. Now notice that we have two factors 1 plus y and x plus 1 that multiplies to give 55. So our next step will be for us to write out the factors of 55. So let's talk about the first case. The factors of 55 are, we have 55 times 1. Let's see another case. So let's call this case 2. When we multiply 5 times 11, we also have 55. So we're going to be solving these cases one after the other. So for the first case, we see this factor, which is 1 plus y, represents this factor, 55. And we say this other factor, which is x plus 1, represents this other factor, 1. And to get the value of y, I just have to move 1 to the right-hand side so that we have y. Let me write it here. y to be equal to 55. And as 1 crosses to the right, it becomes minus 1. So this becomes 55 minus 1 is 54. So making the value of y to be 54. Now here, I still have to move 1 to the right hand side so that we have x to be equal to 1. And as 1 crosses to the right, it becomes minus 1. So 1 minus 1 is 0, making the value of x to be 0. Well, arguably, 0 is not a natural number unless categorically stated. So we're going to be rejecting this. Now let's move on to our second case. On our second case, one of these factors will represent 5 and this other factor will represent 11. So let's say that 1 plus y, which is one of the factor, represent 5. And this other factor, which is x plus 1, represents 11. So for this first factor, I have to move 1 to the right in order to get the value of y. So y will be equal to 5. And as 1 crosses to the right, it becomes minus 1. So 5 minus 1 is 4, making the value of y to be 4. Now to get the value of x, I will have to move 1 to the right hand side. So making x to be equal to 11. And as 1 crosses to the right, it becomes minus 1. 
So this becomes 11 minus 1 is 10. Now, according to our original equation, which is x plus xy plus y equal to 54, we notice that the original equation is symmetric, which means if I swap the position of x and y, the equation will still be the same. So that means our value for x and y that we've got are x is 10, y will be 4, and x can also be 4, y, y can be 10. So it doesn't matter which position. What does the question ask us to find? The question said, find the value of x plus y. So this is equal to x is 10 plus y is 4, which is equal to 14. And even if you have to swap that x is 4, y, y is 10, we still have the same 14. So this is our final answer. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.